function notation. Function notation is just a way to say something with less words. F at X, that's how we read it. F bracket X is F at X, and here's G at X. And you can use whatever letters you want for your, for your input or for your function. The function is F and the input is X in this case. So basically what that is saying is, what is the output if the input is X? It's that simple. So let's say we're given this function, so we have to be given the function. So they gave us function F at X, which means that the input is, um, x and the function is called f and another function is g and the input is also x so they told us find this f at 3 what does that mean well that just means that I need to put it in my input 3 and see what the output is since function f is 2x plus 4 all I'm going to do is say 2 times x not x I'm sorry oh that's not good 2 times 3, which is my x, plus 4. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So 10 is my answer. In other words, what is the output when x is equal to 3? Well, the output is going to be 10. And the output's usually y, right? What about this one? g at minus 5. What does this mean? It means on the function g, what is the output if the input is minus 5? Well, the function g is just x squared, and that was given. So I'm going to have minus 5 squared. So you just replace your input into your equation and put it between brackets so you can get the signs properly. So minus 5 squared is positive 25. And that is function notation. Now, one extra step or complication is something called nested functions. So I have the function of a function. So let's say they give us h at x, so this function's h, and the input is x, is a half x minus 3. And they give us another function called j, that j at x, which is x plus 2. And then they ask me for j at h at, <laughs> sorry, i say that again, j at h at 8. What does that mean? Well, it's actually simpler than it, than it looks. What is h at 8? Well, that means if my input is 8 on the function h, what is my output? So this would represent the number. Once I find that number, I gotta do my second step is j at the number that I found out. So first, let's find out what is h at 8. So h at 8 it's a half times 8 minus 3. So a half times 8 minus 3. Well, what's half of 8? Half of 8 is 4. What's 4 minus 3? 4 minus 3 is 1. So therefore, h at 8 is equal to 1. So here I'm asking for what is j at 1? So my second part is say what is j at 1? Well, why do I use 1 again? Because that's what h at 8 is equal to. And j at x was x plus 2. So therefore, I'm going to say 1 plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So in short, j at h at 8 would be equal to 3. And that's our final answer.